general questions to start with. Why are so many reptiles and amphibians um, struggling in the wild? Uh, the reptiles and amphibians are obviously uh, struggling in the wild. Well, lots of species are struggling in the wild, um, certainly the ones that aren't generalists. Um, there's lots of reasons. The, 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 the big, big answer is us. We are the problem. We are the uh, out competing them for space, for uh, resources, basically. So, um, the habitat loss is massive for lots of these species, very specific to very, you know, very precise uh, locations on the globe. So, of course, you lose that very specific habitat and you lose the animal. And then there's something more insidious and less understood um, uh, diseases. Um, that we have unwittingly released upon them. So there's a very famous fungus that we, you know, we hear a lot about, which is the chytrid fungus, which uh, um, we may have uh, um, spread around the planet via our Xenopus frogs, which uh, originated in South Africa and were one of the original pregnancy tests. Um, but this is a, um, a, a fungus that is spreading and, and mutating, and we think it's infecting uh, uh, lots of different species of uh, these thin-skinned amphibians. And then it's, it's then spreading throughout the systems, and we believe in many of the local extinctions, um, you know, the golden toad in Costa Rica being a, a case in point, were, were down to this particular disease and other things we can only guess at.